Hey, I'm uh, skimming a new steam boiler we just had put in. This is important for um, the boiler to run properly, otherwise you get waters that can surge and get all up in there. Your pipes and cause all kinds of problems. These, um, what you do is you should have a bypass valve at your water feeder. You very slightly crank that open. That allows the boiler to overfill. And the water will push up the sight glass to the point to where you see it get to about the skim port. Um, you have to put these in, the installer put this in. This is capped at the factory. This SGO is a pain because it's right over the burner. So he put a couple of nipples and elbows to them. I can do it off to the side. And basically you just slowly feed the water through there. You don't want to boil it up. You just want it either warm or even cold. Um, that way the oil sits on the top and slides it off nice and slow. You just swap these buckets out, but you, know, you need to do it about an hour at a time. This is the fourth time I've done it. Um, it's getting really a lot clearer. I'm probably about done for now. Once you're finished, you close your valve, cap it, and then you use the drain down valve um, to drop your water level back down to here. I'll probably leave this tapping in place for at least this season to skim it a few times. The disadvantage of one this big is you can get a little condensate that'll collect in here. Um, you could also just take it off and cap it here with this knuckle for some of the future use it. Anyway, it's um, part of every steam install you should skim the boiler.